Hi, my name is Christine Ami, and I'm the Grants Manager for the Navajo Cultural Arts Program here at Dene College. Hi, I'm Crystal Little Ben. I'm the Program Coordinator for the Navajo Cultural Arts Program. We're here today because we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about our Navajo Cultural Arts Certificate and Program. We are looking for some new artisans who might be interested in joining us in January. And so, uh, just a little bit about the certificate itself. It's 24 credit hours. Um, you can finish that in two semesters, but if you wanted to break it up and make mm -hmm. it longer than that, you can do that. Can we do definitely, that. definitely have some part-time students, especially our dual credit uh, yeah. students. Mm -hmm. We started dual credit this past summer. So tell us a little bit about the perks about joining the NCAP. First one is tuition permission. As a full-time NCAP student, if you pass all of your courses, we pay for those NCAP courses. And the second one is that Diné College's courses are $55 per credit hour. You can get your certificate in under $2,000 in two semesters, and it's totally affordable. And another thing is that we are located in Salie, Arizona and most of our classes are in Salie, so it's a beautiful campus. We also have five different emphasis areas. Yes. Um, so we have moccasin making, we have silversmithing, we have basket weaving, Navajo rug weaving, and Navajo pottery. Yep, it's super exciting. Crystal's in uh, the silversmithing, silver and I work with the pottery and the weaving, so mm -hmm. we also have a lot of hands-on experience. Yes, so if you have any questions in any way that we can help you out, that's what we're here for. Yes. Uh, you also have your, your instructors with, who are amazing. Um, the program, mm -hmm. we we have about 10. Yeah, we have yeah, a ton of instructor, instructors that um, just love the, the coursework and, and to work with emerging artisans. Um, in addition to that, we run all year. Uh, yes. So we are in fall, spring, and, and summer. Both summer sessions, one. One and two. And two. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of a little bit of about the perks that we have mm -hmm. for, for the program. Why, why would you want a certificate in Navajo Cultural Arts? Any ideas? Well, for one thing is that if you uh, want to gain any experience in any of the cultural arts, a lot of people who either um, didn't have access to these cultural arts or these knowledges or these languages yeah. when they were growing up, and now that they have the time and the means to, to learn about them, that's what they're doing. That's one of the main reasons, but also if you want to start your own business in any of the cultural arts, which is totally doable, and we do have um, alumni who have done that as well. We offer business classes at an introductory level, so for those who are interested in learning about taxes and learning how to make a business plan, we have classes that offer um, those types of very introductory um, components to that. Two uh, classes that explore how the business uh, structure and cultural arts, how have they blended together? So if you're not interested in business yep. per se, um, at least you get an understanding of how the business functions with the cultural arts, so it makes you a better, more aware buyer. If you are an art teacher and you're looking for professional development hours, either during the semester, uh, fall or spring semester, or during summertime, come join us and we can provide you with certificates of professional development as well. Just a little bit about some of the workshop classes that we have offered in this spring 2020 coming up. We have moccasin making that's going to be taught by two in Tuba City by Thomas Yellow here. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are going to be out there, that's where he's at. It's an eight-week course, so it's going to run from January to March. Moccasin uh, one. one, and then we'll have Moccasin Two here in Saylee, uh, taught by Harry Walton, and he's going to be teaching it in Summer Session Two. So in reality, if you wanted to knock out Summer Session One and Two, uh, make some moccasins for graduation, make them for presents, um, uh, make them for yourself. Uh, that's a great way to to, yes. to look at that. Uh, we also have Silversmithing Two, two. and One. One. Both taking place here in Saley and at the Shiprock yes. campus. Yes. So we have Anthony Goldtooth and Wilson Aronald Ar Jr. who is here in Saley. So we have um, we're fortunate enough to have those silversmiths working with us. Um, and then let's see, we, we have, have the sash belt. Oh yes, we're anyway. starting sash belt. <laughs> um, Joni Yossi is jumping on board as one of our adjunct instructors for the NCAP, mm -hmm. and he'll be teaching sash belt for the first eight yep. weeks here in Saley as well. Uh, we have weaving with Eileen Nagel, weaving two, weaving two. that's going to be taking place over in Window, Window Rock. Rock. And in addition to those emphasis area classes, we also have our core certificate classes. Yep. Uh, we have a Navajo cultural arts philosophy class, um, taking a look at songs and traditional works of our cultural arts. So that's a great class um, to, to take. We also have our Navajo cultural arts business systems, which is mm -hmm. one of my favorite classes. It's a wonderful tour de res, I, um, where we get a chance <laughs> to travel throughout the reservation. Yeah. We go to NACE, we go to Totalina Trading Post, uh, we take a look at um, Chaco Canyon, Yep. We go to the Museum of Northern Arizona, mm -hmm. and we finalize our class heading down to the herd for the Indian market down yep. there in March, at the very, very beginning of March. And then there's our practicum class. Um, for those of you guys who are, have already taken practicum one, you 
you can jump into practicum too. Uh, that culminates in our Navajo Cultural Arts Week that takes place the third week of, of April. April. So um, keep your calendars marked with that. Uh, we'll have all sorts of free workshops, lectures, and an exhibit taking place yep. on the fourth floor of the NHC here in Saline. So that's just a little bit of uh, a breakdown about our Navajo Cultural Arts program. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to check out Wednesday. We have the release of our Navajo Cultural Arts Language Series. Um, and if you are interested in joining our Navajo Cultural Arts program, get in contact with us. Yes. Our number is 928-724-6878. Um, and you can also contact us via email at, at ncap, that's mm -hmm. N-C-A-P, at dinecollege.edu. Mm -hmm. uh, check out our website at www.navacultureartsprogram.org. Have a great day. Bye.